Returning to Augusta to defend the Masters is uh, certainly something I've been looking forward to for a long time. However, it comes around a bit too quickly. I've enjoyed walking around as the Masters champion for the last year and carrying the green jacket with me. But it's been something I've looked forward to for the first four months of this year. It's uh, a special place and obviously even more special after winning last year. And so much to look forward to here this week. I think uh, certainly there's confidence to take out of winning a big tournament like the Masters uh, and I think most importantly what I did with that was continue the momentum and keep rolling towards kind of my overall goals of becoming the best golfer I can be so continually improving uh, and coming back here this year certainly there is a quiet confidence about the way I'll play at Augusta this year with the experience of winning. Well I'm not superstitious however uh, preparing in a similar way to last year because I don't want to change up too much of a winning formula uh, but I've spent you know the, the better part of the last month or so with Augusta on my mind and, and playing a little bit on tour to get the competitive uh, juices flowing and then also spending time back at home on the range, somewhat fine-tuning every part of my game because this course is so demanding. You need to be in pretty sharp form to manage your way around here. No, I'm feeling good. The game is in good shape. I'm very satisfied with where everything's at and, uh, you know, been working hard on all areas, especially the short game. It's so crucial to managing your way around Augusta. I feel I'm in good shape. I think the tough thing for me this week is going to be somewhat managing expectation. I don't think you just roll up and win the Masters because you want to. You've got to uh, execute everything pretty perfectly. Well, I mean, there's always the usual suspects, but I think uh, the usual suspects <laughs> list is growing rapidly out on tour. The talent pool is deep and Phil Mickelson, I think, is always the biggest threat along with Tiger Woods at the Masters because they just have such an affinity with the golf course. But of course, I could list 20 guys who are in good form, young guys who uh, have no fear and are dreaming big as well. So, uh, But if you ask me to pick one, it's Phil Mickelson. Well, I think the history of it is different for everyone, but Augusta is filled with history no matter what, and I think the... Masters stands out to me from my childhood, remembering watching on TV so far away on a Monday morning before school, watching Australians try and win for so long, Greg Norman especially, but I remember years where Craig Parry was contending, uh, and it just presents so well, it stands out. When you watch it on television, you see how green the place is, the flowers, everything. It, it looks like this little utopia uh, so far away, and I think that's why it stands out for me.